Welcome back. Weeks after the impeachment of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, President William Ruto has called for cooling down of country's political temperature. The head of state has called for political class to stop divisive politics and instead unite the nation. Former Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa said he has no beef with President William Ruto as he wishes President William Ruto well in his endeavors. Let's join our reporter Felix Wanjala. A few days after the inauguration of the new deputy president, Professor Kithure Kindiki, President William Ruto has launched initiatives to ease political tensions in the country, urging all elected leaders to begin serving the people. And I am confident that we are going to take this nation to the next level. Kwa hivyo mimi na wauliza, nduguzangu viongozi, sisi tulio pata na fasi hii, sasa maneno ya siyasa tuweke kando. Iyo maneno ingine yote tumemalizana nayo. Sasa tuungane. Well accompanied by Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi and the Governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja, Ruto highlighted the importance of collaborating with ODM leader Raila Odinga to foster national unity. Mweshimiwa Raila Odinga alikubaliana na mimi tuungane, tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya. Tuakikisha ya kwamba tunapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele bila ya kujali. Wewe ni wa siyasa upande gani, wewe ni wa mrengo kani. Kwa sababu katika manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa housing. Manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa housing. Manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa mambo ya afya. Manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa mambo ya afya. Sasa mbona tusiungane. Budavadi called on churches across the nation to pray for the leaders and promote peace. Stability of a nation, the peace and security of a nation is paramount. We do not want to have a country where even going to church is a problem. Na kama sisi watu ODM na wajumba ODM kiongozi wetu mkuu wamekaa pamoja na watu wetu wengine wakaingia kwa serikali. Meanwhile, the new share health insurance scheme remains a contentious issue with Governor Johnson Sakaja encouraging citizens to embrace it, a view that was supported by other leaders. Sa hizi mimi kama governor nitalipa asilimia ya mshahara yangu ili iweze kushikilia wale ambao hawana hiyo tano. ili kila mtu Kenya hii apate matibabu now that we have sworn in the deputy president baadhi ya kazi ambazo utampea kwa IBEC ashikane na hawa magavana ili watusaidie kuelimisha wa Kenya mambo ya social health insurance fund kwa sasa kupitia mfumo huu mpya mambo ya bima ya afya itafikia kila mkenya sio lazima ukwe na kazi sio lazima ukwe na uwezo yule ambaye huna uwezo wa kulipa hiyo pesa ya shif sasa serikali ya Kenya they further claim that those opposing the new health insurance cover are corrupt individuals looking to benefit from the outdated NHIF scheme mkiona hii kelele ambayo imekuwa it is true we have to roll out faster. Lakini mukiona hii kelele, it is also because corruption is fighting back. President William Ruto reassured church members that the government has allocated funds in the budget to hire more teachers nationwide. Reporting for Tandao News Outlook at 1, I'm Felix Wanjala.